Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, six months of set theory and higher order logic. This is month number two, where we're doing a new video every single day for the whole month of October, looking at the operations and relations of sets. Now, in this video, we're going to be checking out what are ordered triples and other n tuples, such as the ordered triple A, B, C. So, in the last video, we looked at how we will define an ordered pair in the last two videos, really. A set where the order of the members matters. We defined an ordered pair, A, B, as the class of the class of A and the class of A and B. However, we will want ordered sets which have more than just two members. We may want a whole entire list that is ranked in a particular order. In order to do this, we need to create a schema for how to add members to our ordered pair. We don't need to define every single number of them. We simply need to have our base case and then n plus 1 effectively. So, basically, an ordered triple is going to be defined as an ordered pair of an ordered pair with the first two elements and the third element. In other words, we will define the ordered triple, ABC, as the ordered pair of the ordered pair AB and C. And therefore, that will be defined as the class of the class of the class of the class of A and the class of AB and the class of the class of of the class of A and the class of AB and C. Hopefully you're not just listening to this video and you're able to see what's written on the screen because that probably was not helpful in understanding exactly what's going on. But basically what we're doing is we're iterating our process for doing an ordered pair. So the ordered pair of three members is simply taking the ordered pair and taking that third member as another ordered pair. This continues the more members are added to create four tuples or five tuples. The ordered quad tuple A, B, C, D is defined as the ordered pair of the ordered triple A, B, C, and D, or the ordered pair A, B paired with C paired with D, and so on and so forth. And therefore could be described as, whew, it's a long, one, the class of 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 A and the class of AB and the class of the class of the class of A and the class of AB and C and the class of 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 A and the class of AB and the class of the class of the class of A and the class of AB and C and D. It's likely that there are not the correct number of curly brackets, but hopefully you get the general idea or the general intuition that when we are adding another class to our ordered triple, really what we mean is simply we're doing the same process we used to get our ordered pair. We're just doing it again. So to define all possible n tuples, we need an axiom schema, or a definition schema, really, would be a better explanation. For all ordered lists of classes a1 through an, we define that a, as a set of pairs of those classes, the pair of a1 and a2 paired with a3 paired with a4 up to an. Formally, we can state this as for all a1 up to an, the ordered n tuple, a1, a2, a3, a4, up to an, is equal to, by definition, the ordered pair a1, a2, and a3, and a4, etc., all the way up to an, each as a telescoping set of ordered pairs. Up next, we are going to use some of our definitions we've learned and our understanding of ordered pairs to do a tough proof. This is the proof of the ordered pair theorem. The ordered pair theorem is very simple and it's what makes ordered pairs so useful for us. It's basically the theorem that states that you can't switch the values within an ordered pair. So basically it says for all A and all B, if it's not the case that A equals B, 
then it's not the case that the ordered pair AB is equal to the ordered pair BA. Basically, the ordered pair theorem says, based on our definitions, that this works, that ordered pairs really can't be switched around. Give that a try on your own. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can know when the next video is posted and when the answer is out. And we'll show you the full formal proof, which is going to be long, in the next video. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.